Hello, this is the January 2018 video edition of the Iowa General Fund Monthly Revenue Memo. My name is Jeff Robinson, Senior Fiscal Analyst for the Iowa Legislative Services Agency, the nonpartisan support agency of the Iowa Legislature. On a net cash fiscal year basis, meaning gross revenue from July 1 through January 31st, minus refunds issued during that time, Iowa General Fund revenue has increased significantly. However, the situation is not near as positive as the raw numbers indicate. To start, let's have a look at the net receipts number. Without adjustment for known comparison differences, net general fund revenue increased $446 million and 11.2% through January. But four known and necessary adjustments must be made to that raw cash year growth number in order to add perspective on the actual fiscal year net revenue. First, converting fiscal year 18 cash year revenue to fiscal year revenue itself requires the subtraction of $102 million in net revenue from fiscal year 18 receipts. This is the money that was received after June 30, 2017, but was accrued back to fiscal year 17 receipts through the annual year-end accrual process. This produces fiscal year-to-date growth through January of $344 million and 8.6%. Second, January 31st is on an important due date for withholding and sales tax quarterly payments. A procedural difference between how these payments were handled this year and how they were handled in previous years has resulted in electronic tax payments for those two taxes being deposited one day earlier than was previously the case. This January, the result is an $105 million boost to revenue that will disappear from the calculations by February 6th. Third, the major federal tax changes enacted December 22nd resulted in a need for some state taxpayers to remit earlier and additional state income tax estimate payments to Iowa and to other states. Federal limitations on the deduction of state and local income and property tax mean that for many taxpayers, tax year 17 is the last year those taxes can be used to reduce federal income taxes and to be fully deductible for federal purposes they need to be remitted to the state or local government by December 31st, 2017. By the time the checks mailed to the Department of Revenue were processed, deposits of fourth quarter individual income tax payments were up $114 million compared to last year. While some portion of this revenue increase may represent actual tax liability growth, the majority can be considered taxpayers making earlier payments of taxes they would owe when filing their income tax returns this spring. Finally, the dollar total of individual income tax refunds issued over the months of December 2017 and January 2018 was the lowest since at least fiscal year 2004, and the $9.2 million issued this year is $20 million less than last year's level. The Department of Revenue has announced that, like last year, income tax refunds will be delayed in fiscal year 2018. Adjusting for these four items, what looks like substantial revenue growth on a cash year basis is really modest growth on a fiscal year basis. Growth is $105 million and 2.6%. In summary, and after adjustment, year-to-date net revenue growth through January is an estimated 2.6%, just above the Revenue Estimating Conference projection of 2.4% growth for the entire fiscal year. With the tax year 2017 tax return season starting, with the announced delay in refund issuance, and with the uncertainty of the impact of federal tax changes on Iowa's revenue stream, tracking net general fund revenue growth will be more difficult than usual until all individual income tax returns are filed and refunds are issued. Goodbye, thank you, and please check out the next monthly video memo in early March.